extra tube supplied with cooling oil, high voltage cables. This is a, just a simple tape measure to measure the distance between the head and the sample. And these two produce a cross of light which enables us to position the sample directly underneath the source of x-rays. The problem is, as you can see, is they're all a bit flaky. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, that, that's not, not a problem so from our point of view. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. okay. This is the obviously the occipital region, the frame of magnet around that here. So we should just lift it yes. slightly again. So what are you doing there, Donald? Well, at the moment we've got um, an X with the lighting here, which is giving me the central beam, the X-ray central beam, and I'm aiming to direct that straight through the skull to give us as to the position we've got here is from the posterior through to the anterior, a PA projection of the skull. So what we can do now is put the lights back on, and uh, we can now start to set up the X-ray cassette. So having centred the x-ray beam up, I know that what we're interested in is recording this area. Each time we're going to aim to put this marker here up as far as we're concerned. When we look at the film, this will be in the top left-hand corner of the film as you face it. So what we want to do now is have some anatomical markers, and then you'll be able to match the radiograph to what you've got on the list, okay? So if you all come out now. Uh, records. We're doing them 120 kV, 2 MAS, which means we're, do, we're actually doing them at 1 milliamp for 2 seconds. There we go. Right. A, we're fine with our exposure factors. Um, secondly, uh, we haven't got to worry too much about the packing material or yeah. the resinous material on it. Uh, looking at this, you can see it's a young skull, partly because of the size, but there's unerupted teeth here. Mm. So uh, that, that's um, useful additional information. And um, as I said, this was close to the APPA yeah. projection that I was interested in. And the problem we've got is that it's rotated that way. So um, what we'll do is just, um, uh, I think, I'll do one more where I'll just try and straighten it up mm -hmm. and then I'll go through the process of doing the um, what we call the Towns projection and then move on to the lateral because we know the exposure factor.